Just Division TV. Thank you for joining the program. Today on the show, I will be counting down the top 10 most dangerous cities in the first half of 2022. These are the top 10 cities with the highest percentage of murder. I am going to start off by saying fuck Black Lives Matter as a staff, record label, and as a motherfucking crew. Um, Black Lives Matter has never done shit for me, and I guarantee they've never done shit for you. Black Lives Matter only cares when cops kill black people. They ignore the fact that a much higher percentage of black people die at the hands of other blacks. Ever since Black Lives Matter came out, I knew they were a piece of trash organization. I got to see some inner workings with them during the whole protest a couple years ago. Remember the summer of love in what, 2020? When we all thought the world was going to end and everybody thought Black Lives Matter gave a damn about them. Then in hindsight, we find out they're buying $6 million homes, $4 million homes, and not one penny of that money has been put in the black community. Not one. So yes, before I read this list, of top 10 worst, most dangerous cities in America in the first half of 2022. I had to get that off my chest. Screw Black Lives Matter and everything about them. They're a piece of trash organization and they don't care about the black man or the black woman. All right, so let's start with number 10 of the top 10 most dangerous cities in the first half of 2022 per capita. That's the key word, guys, per capita. Because it's not about the number of murders in a city that makes it uh, makes it to the top of the list. It's the percentage, the per capita. Some cities are smaller, so they'll have a smaller number of murders, but a higher percentage. See, I'm getting too far. If you don't know what per capita is, you're a ding dong, and I'm not going to sit here and explain it to you for five minutes. So we're going to move on, and let's. here's the top 10 most dangerous cities in the first half of 2022 per capita. Start with number 10. Kansas City, Missouri. And as of June 30th, Kansas City has had 73 murders. Now, I know you think 73 doesn't sound like a lot, but for a city the size of Kansas City, that is a lot. Shout out to Tech 9 and the whole strange music crew out there in Kansas City. Shout out to Kansas City. You made it to number 10, guys. Who would have thought, huh? All the cities in the, in the country in Kansas City is the top 10 most dangerous city in the country. Number nine. A city that we are all very familiar with through music. ATL, shouty, Atlanta. Atlanta GA comes in at number nine with 74 homicides. With a percentage rate, a per capita rate of 14.9. And this is out of 100,000 people. So the rate per capita is 100,000 people. So 14.9 is their rating. 74. Atlanta, huh? Hmm, okay. Yeah, I remember a lot of people in LA started moving to Atlanta. I remember when I was coming up, Atlanta was known for Freak Nick, Jack the Rapper, and then artists like Ludacris and Outkast came and they put it on the map. And of course, all the idiots started moving there, setting up shop. And now Atlanta is number nine, the top 10 most dangerous cities in the first half of 2022 per capita. Number eight. The 
city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. I've always heard about Philadelphia. Ever since I was a kid, I heard about Philadelphia. And Philadelphia is a bigger city, so... So far this year, first half, they have had 240 homicides for a rating of 15.1% per capita. That's a damn shame. Up until June 30th, 2022, 240 people have been killed in Philadelphia. And we all know those people, most of them, have a lot of melanin. And sadly, the person who pulled the trigger, according to statistics, also had a lot of melanin. Yeah, Philly, North Side, South Side, in West Philadelphia, born and right West Philly. Uh, I mean, it really goes down in Philly. Number seven. This is a city I'm not very familiar with, but it is a smaller city in the state of New York. You see, we hear about Brooklyn. We hear about the Bronx. We hear about Harlem. We hear about Staten Island, Long Island, the boroughs, right? But we don't hear about the other parts of New York. And number seven, coming in at number seven, is Rochester, New York. Okay, interesting. I don't know much about Rochester. I know the Griselda camp is from upstate New York, and I know it gets busy in certain areas, but I don't know too much about Rochester. If you are from Rochester, if you know anybody from Rochester, comment down below. My guess is the same thing happened to New York that happened out here in Los Angeles where all the ding-dongs moved from the hood and then they moved like 50 60 70 80 miles outside where the houses were cheap and things like that and then they just ended up setting up shop there and messing up those neighborhoods is that safe to say are you from rochester did you grow up in rochester did your parents grow up in rochester did your grandparents grow up in rochester how the hell is rochester number seven on the list of top 10 most dangerous cities in the first half of 2022 comment down below Number six. Now, I've heard about this city all throughout my life. I don't think I ever knew that it showed up in the top 10, but I do know they get busy. Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, I got to go back to Rochester. Rochester, that small town, 34 homicides, which that's a lot of homicides for a small town. 34 homicides for a small town is a lot. When you're thinking per capita and the amount of people that actually live in that city. So that's that's crazy, man. So, yeah, if you know anybody in Rochester, let me know. But, yes, number six is Cleveland, Ohio. And I really think the first time I really, like, got to know or heard anything about the rugged side of Cleveland was obviously from Bone Thugs and Harmony. Up until then, the only thing I knew about Cleveland was the movie Major League. And I was like, that's not a accurate portrayal of Cleveland but Bone Thugs and Harmony they were giving us Cleveland from their eyes East 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 that was my shit Bone Thugs and Harmony is one of if not the greatest groups of all time in hip hop and rock and anything like they they're just great they influenced the whole style that still goes on to this day But anyway, this isn't about hip-hop. This is about the top 10 most dangerous cities in the first half of 2022 per capita. And Cleveland had 64 homicides so far. As of June 30th, 2022, they've had 64 homicides. And Cleveland is on the smaller side. So to have 64 homicides in one half of a year... It's a goddamn shame. It's a goddamn shame. So, okay, check it out. We're halfway through the list, right? And so far, Chicago is not on there. So far, Los Angeles isn't on there. 
So far, number 10 was Kansas City, Missouri with 73. Number 9 was Atlanta with 74 homicides. Number 8 was Philadelphia with 240 homicides. Number 7, Rochester, New York with 34 homicides. Number 6 is Cleveland, Ohio with 64 homicides. We're halfway through the list. I'm going to take a little music break. And when we come back, we are going to... Countdown number five through number one. Will your city be on the list? Tune in to find out. This is State of Mind with their song, How Many. Listen to these lyrics, people. It's like the message has been lost. How much money does a black life cost? Every time we kill another brother, we keep them people employed who profit when we kill another. How can we make a change? Instead of pointing at others for the blame Shit, let's put some gasoline on the flame And burn this bitch down if they don't hear what we saying Better be strapped for the peace They talking about defunding police Gun stores sold out for six weeks I'm smelling something in the air and it reeks Black lives matter all the time Not just when one of them kills one of our kind Cause I don't ever see Al Sharpton speaking When Chicago has 30 murders in one week I'm what we gonna do? You tell me what we gonna do. Come on. Hey, 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 pay attention, maybe slow down and just listen It's my state of mind, I'm dreaming, I'm on a mission Trying to push the world for peace, no more hate I got my black fist up in the corner to demonstrate Let's get it straight this time, movement is all over the world Energy divine, what were you when the revolution got started? Black people fed up, more than really departed We all living on this earth, we human, nobody rowdy Marching in units and George Floyd chanting loudly how many brothers have to die? We already realize equality's alive. I'm trying to get it by any means that be necessary. Red and blue lights flashing behind me can't be very scary. I see the police before they see me. Get out the car, roll the ground down on your knees. Please. The pigmentation of my skin, this current situation Got me feeling like the revolution's about to begin On the different type of vibes, so many ready for change Fist in the atmosphere, sick and tired of the games Being played, body slain, ain't no fucks given Only justification is I fit the description Trapped in the system, just another digit In a private prison, trying to keep the optimism It's tearing me to the core, how many more we gon' lose? We got the right to live a life without you and me Know what we do, enlighten the youth Feed the knowledge, give them tools Running the race, coming out of my shoe Taking it all the way back to my room it's a different time, we ain't going for it You see this power in numbers, keep on ignoring You see us coming together, together we growing They feel the change in this coming, you better know I'm in the we Dusty Vision TV, thank you so much for joining the program. And before we go on, I'm going to ask you to hit that like button, and I'm going to ask you to hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed. And if you're not subs- if you are subscribed, I'm going to remind you to hit that bell notification so you can get notifications every time I drop content. Today on the show, we are counting down the top ten most dangerous cities in the first half of 2022. 
per capita as of June 30th, 2022. These are the top 10 most dangerous cities with the highest worst murder rate. So far, we've done 10 through 6. Number 10 was Kansas City, Missouri with 73. Number uh, 9 was Atlanta with 74. Number 8 was Philadelphia, 240 homicides. Number 7 was Rochester, New York. That one still trips me out. 34 homicides. And number 6 is Cleveland, Ohio with 64 homicides. We're halfway through the list. Before I... Countdown five through one. I want to chat with you for a little bit. See, we're always, we always get upset when a cop shoots us. We always want to protest when a cop shoots us. But why don't we ever protest when the little girl gets shot, walking with her mom to school from a stray bullet. Huh? Why don't we ever protest when the grandma catches a hot one to her dome whilst she's in the laundromat putting her nightgown in the dryer? Hmm? Oh, now we're quiet, huh? Now you guys don't want to talk, huh? Oh, Dusty Vision, why don't you be quiet, you Uncle Tom, you house nigga. No, no, no. This is the stuff we need to talk about in our community. Why don't we ever protest when the father gets shot? Walking his son to church. We just let this happen. We never want to point the finger at ourselves. It's always the white man's fault. Systematic racism, blah, blah, blah. No, it's our fault. And our problems can only be fixed within. You can't expect them to stop shooting you, killing us like animals when we're doing it every single weekend. In Kansas City, Atlanta, Philadelphia, Rochester, Cleveland. We're doing it for them. We've killed. We've killed more of our own than the KKK skinheads and any other systematic racism bullshit you want to throw at me ever has and ever will, including slavery. 400 years of slavery. We've already knocked that out. We've already beat that in, what, 30, 40 years. Do I believe there is some sort of systematic something going on? Yeah, if you're if you're an idiot, yeah, you could fall into that. But if you know that already and you go into this world knowing that that you can maneuver around systematic racism. That shit does not does not affect me one bit. Has it in the past and I don't know it? Maybe. But you know what? I'll just go get another opportunity. I'm not gonna sit there and sulk and and, and be upset and keep saying systematic, this systematic. Nah, man. That's a whole other topic. We need to point the finger at ourselves. Because they're not going to stop killing us until we stop killing us. And no one's going to help us. We Nobody's going to help you. Nobody. Yes, you listening right now. Ain't, ain't nobody going to help you. Ain't nobody going to help you. Joe Biden ain't going to help you. You really think Joe Biden and Kamala Harris give two fucks about you? If you do, I have a bridge in Brooklyn that I want to sell you. All right, let's continue with the countdown. The top 10 most dangerous cities in the first half of 2022 per capita. The top 10 cities with the worst murder rate. I'm going to light this up. Make sure you hit that like button. Don't be just listening and shit. Hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, you keep seeing my shit. Hit subscribe, motherfucker. All right. So number five. All right. Number five. Milwaukee. I've heard a lot about Milwaukee. Not too far from Chicago, so it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, you hear Milwaukee, right? You think, oh, man, 
Fucking white people and beer, right? No, playa. It gets really busy in Milwaukee. I know people who know Milwaukee, and they say it gets gangster. Milwaukee comes in with a whopping 112 homicides in the first half of 2022. Wow, dude, that's crazy. We're just fucking knocking us off. We're going to be extinct one day if we don't stop this shit. We're going to be extinct if we don't stop this. You know that, right? Damn, yeah, so Milwaukee. Anybody from Milwaukee, comment down below. Is it uh, is it that bad in Milwaukee? Because you guys are smack dab in the middle. Number five on the list of top ten most dangerous cities of 2022 so far. All right, Milwaukee, let's go. Who's going to be a number four? Who, who Who's knocking on Milwaukee's door, huh? Who's knocking on Milwaukee's door for the number four spot? With the number four spot, I should say. Oh, I've heard about this city ever since I was a kid. Yep, uh, St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis, Missouri comes in at number four with the whopping 83 homicides. And once again, it's a smaller city than Milwaukee, so it makes sense. Damn. Yeah, I remember. So the first time I, I, I ever heard anything, anything, anything about St. Louis, this is a weird reference, but it's a reference that a lot of you are going to get. I know a lot of you watch white movies growing up too. Don't lie. But National Lampoon's Vacation. I remember watching National Lampoon's Vacation. And they were driving from one part of the country to another. And they went through St. Louis. And they pulled off the freeway. And St. Louis off top. I was like, oh, okay. So this is the ghetto. I was like, oh, shit. So that's my first glimpse of, of St. Louis. And then their car gets put on bricks and all that they start stealing everything from yeah it was a good movie national lampoon's vacation but yeah st louis and then i guess the second time i ever heard anything get it because keep in mind guys i grew up in the 80s and 90s there was no fucking internet we couldn't search shit we didn't know like anything if, if i didn't have a cousin who lived in st louis i really didn't know shit about st louis unless there was a tv show on tv that took place in st louis you know what i mean so all right so st louis my second reference to st louis would be on the dj quick song just like compton when DJ Quick tells a story about leaving Compton, where all the gang violence is and things like that, and traveling the country and just realizing, you know what? Damn. Everything's just like Compton. And St. Louis was one of the cities that he named in that famous 1992 song, 91 92 song. Now, St. Louis, <laughs> it's just like Compton. All right, it's number four. We got three to go, guys. Has your city been mentioned yet? Comment down below. Do you think your city is going to be mentioned in the top three? All right, so let me recap really quick. Really quick. I'm going to go through this fast. All right, number 10 to number seven, and then we're going to get to the top three. So number 10 was Kansas City with 73. Number uh, nine is Atlanta with 74 homicides. Uh, number eight, Philadelphia with 240 homicides. Number seven, Rochester, New York with 34 homicides. Cleveland with 64. Milwaukee with 112. St. Louis comes in at number four with 83. Coming in at number three. Birmingham, Alabama. I've been hearing a lot about Birmingham lately. And it sounds like Birmingham is off the charts right now. Birmingham, Alabama. And how interesting is that? So we got 59 homicides in Birmingham, Alabama. I would say that if we go back in time into history, let's go 1867. A couple years after the Civil War ended. Birmingham, Alabama. I'm going to put it was the one of the top three racist places in this country. Whites were killing blacks like crazy, hanging us. Strange fruits hanging. They were hanging us and all that, right? I would gather Birmingham, Alabama would be the top three racist places just 200 years ago. That being said, 
we've probably killed more of our own in the past 10 years than all of Alabama, Birmingham, Alabama's existence of white people killing black folk. I, I would bet money on that. If you add it up every single year, the numbers that Birmingham, Alabama's putting up, because we know who's doing the killing, it's us. Let's keep it real. Let, let's point the finger. Come on now. Reality. Can we, can we get back to reality and like knock this, this fantasy shit off? Like they're killing us more than we like. Can we not, can we knock that off guys? Yes, Birmingham, Alabama, I guarantee more blacks have killed blacks than whites have killed whites in the whole existence of Birmingham versus the last 10 years. I, 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 I'll put money on that. And that's sad. But if I say, when we say that, right, we're, we're Uncle Tom's, we're house niggas, we're, we hate ourselves. Like, what? Like, really? Because like, I'm pointing the fact that we're killing each other. That means I hate myself. Where does that logic come from? Anyway, all right, so that's number three. Birmingham, Alabama, 59 murders. Mm. All right, here we go, guys. Two more. The top two most dangerous cities in the first half of 2022 per capita. The 10 cities with the worst murder rate. Comment down below before I continue. Who do you think it's going to be? Mm? Give it to me. We've, you've heard me do 10 through 3 already. I'm not going to repeat everything until the end. So you've heard me do a, what cities haven't shown up and what two cities do you think really should show up? All right. Pencils down, kids. Number two. Top 10 cities with the worst murder rate in the first half of 2022. A city that I've heard many, 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 many times in the top 10. Baltimore. Yeah, they don't call it Baltimore Murderland for anything. Usually when you, when, when they place that on you, you your, your town is about that business and I would never move to Baltimore I, I'm sorry Baltimore you know I'm sure it's a beautiful city I'm sure there's areas that are beautiful but I heard it goes down in Baltimore and I'm good I'm good but Baltimore coming in at a whopping 174 homicides or a per capita rate of 29.1 percent damn bro 174 people already have been put to rest how many of those 174 do you think were logical reasonable homicides i'm gonna venture none of them were they were probably all over dumb shit sadly And 174, mostly blacks. Let's keep it real. And Latinos are in there too. Gone. See ya. You wanted to be a future doctor? Mm, well, your plans are going to end here. Huh? You wanted to be a future lord? Mm, sorry, that uh, stray bullet's going to end those plans right there, little girl. Shit pisses me off. <laughs> I think I'm making a joke. I'm making a joke because this pisses me off. I could sit here and just show you how fucking angry this gets me because it gets me angry. Or I could try to sprinkle a little, little satire and funny in there. You know, put a little, what do they say? Put a little sugar in the medicine. Because this is a hard pill to swallow. It should be. If it's not for you. Look, so far, if you've added up all the numbers I've done, 240, 74, 112, 83, 59, 174. Dude, this is a lot of people that are dying in our country and nobody cares. Nobody seems to give a goddamn. But let a cop bust a few caps in the back of somebody's head and, and, and we, we tear up the, the country. Where are we when shit like this is going on? You don't hear me though, do you? You don't hear me. Because you don't 
care. You just don't care. You say you care, but you don't care. None of you. All right, anyway. Baltimore, number two, 174. All right, so we got... Now I'm going to read off the top 10, okay? The top nine, and then we'll get to the, the 10, all right? So if you recap for you, number 10, Kansas City was 73. Number nine, Atlanta was 74. Number eight, Philadelphia with 240 murders this year, just in the past first six months. Number seven, Rochester, New York, smaller city with 34. That's a lot for a small town like that. Number six, Cleveland, Ohio with 64. Number five, Milwaukee with 112 murders so far this year. Number four, St. Louis with 83. Number three, Birmingham, Alabama with 59. Another small town, but per capita, it's 29%. That's crazy. <sighs> Number two was Baltimore, Murderland with 174 and a whopping per capita rate of 29.1. Here we go, guys. Number one. Number one, most dangerous city in the first half of 2022 per capita. The number one city with the mur worst murder rate. This is a city I'm very familiar with, and you are as well. New Orleans, Louisiana. I was just in New Orleans a couple years ago. Bourbon Street. Good vibes. Good town, good people, great food. But you would never think that as you're partying on Bourbon Street, having a good time, sipping your daiquiri, throwing your beads at the white girl with the pull her tits out, that just a mile away, the number one murder capital of the country. It's really sad, man. I've heard a lot about New Orleans. And once again, such a beautiful, beautiful town, man. Beautiful culture, beautiful history, dog. If you're a history person like I am, you would really just appreciate New Orleans from a history aspect as well. But man, deep in those streets, goes down. We're taking each other out like rabbits. Ugh. And nobody's going to fix that but us. Not Joe Biden. Not Kamala Harris. Not Donald Trump. None of them are going to help us. It's up to us to help us because if we don't, we will be extinct. Think about that. Now go out there and be a good person. I'll talk to you later. Peace. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. I had to rush out of my bed because I was late for work. My motherfucking rent is due and my boss is a jerk. Pencil pushing at the job, an intermediate clerk. My mama told me to go to school. I'm going bananas berserk. I work every day, don't know where the money goes. My girl is big and pregnant, want me to paint her toes. Only a high school diploma. I'm smelling the aroma. The greenery is burning in my room. But life is a mama seat. She glad to meet ya. She bad coming soon. <laughs> Better get the broom, my nigga. You clean up your house. She got a little more time to back out, cause she ain't your spouse. But do I love her? I need her. Maybe respect how I treat her. But when I see my baby, I'ma wanna go and feed her. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. 
job, just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job is some food to eat. I was born in a space and time where people were stupid. Everybody looking for love, fucking with Cupid. Who did whatever they wanted to do with black fist up? Stand to opposition, keeping Hennessy in a cup. Drink, nigga, tell me what you think about God. The Bible is written by man, so people think of a side. Form your own opinion before you listen to white men. The system has got you on American bandstand. And when you get home, you got to look in the mirror. Take off all the makeup and the wig is more clear. I fear a day when I can't smoke my weed. A drink, my drink, my nigga, you know what I need. But success is a motherfucker. Shoes to feel. I got a baby at home. I need them big time deals. This shit just got real. It's going down tonight. Somebody gon' get jacked. Hope they don't put up a fight. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Blow that smoke right out your lungs. You go to church every Friday. Now you're speaking in tongues. You gave up chilling with friends. Pastor got a band repenting on your knees, confessing all your sins to the end. How far will it go? Why you make it, boy? He eating all your candy, tasting your arm joy. Troy, I can help you. Let me take you to outer space. If you're looking for God, meditate to the perfect place. Race, we moving at the speed of light. Traveling fast through a black hole into my day. And night. I'm trying to fight against the norm, my eyes are open, you see, cause I can only be me, not what you want me to be, classy, nigga born in the 77, daddy named Orlando, my name Kevin, Lucille, my mama, the girl true raised me, Kevin and Delilah, they having a baby, just give me a little bit of peace, steady job is some food to eat, just give me a little bit of peace, steady Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat.